Hi everybody, this is Bed. Welcome to my studio. Today we are going to make rain sticks. There's nothing more soothing than the sound of a rain stick, whether it's from South America, like this one, or if it's from Australia, a little bit larger one, like this one. It has this beautiful designs on it of a snake and it tells a story all about hunting for the snake on this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using tubes. It could be any kind of tube. A mailing tube. This tube is from uh, Saran Wrap. But it could be any size. I have a mailing tube that I used before and I did not have caps on it so I just put tape and I'll show you how that's done. Or you can have a mailing tube that already has the plastic parts that pop right back in. And if you don't have that, then you just go with what you have, and this will work just fine. Here's an example of one that was made from a tube that was from the kitchen. I believe this was foil. And basically what I did is I covered it with paper. Here's some odds and ends of string or yarn. This is from an old shoe that had the straps that went across the top, and I really liked the design, so I cut them off after the shoes wore out. So what you're going to do is get your tube, and you're going to use nails. You need nails and a hammer, and you only need about 10 to 12 nails. If you want more of a sound, you can put as many nails as you like. You just need to be careful when you're spacing them that you don't make a hole along here and so that it unpeels. Now what I've done here is I've already started nailing these. And again, you want to keep them in a random pattern, which can be here, 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 or here or in a spiral pattern like this one where the nails go all the way down and again as many as you want. You don't want to put them in the same row because you're dealing with percussion and if you have them all on one side when the insides of your tube, and we'll talk about that in a moment, when it filters down you won't get any kind of really good sound. It'll all be on one side so you want to make sure that you spread them out. So after you've nailed them all in then you need to seal it. And again, if you don't have a cap, then you're going to use a piece of tape. And I'm using packing tape. You want to use a tape that is going to hold really good. Uh, don't use a small scotch tape where you had always make sure it's wide tape. You can even use duct tape if you need to. They come in so many different colors now, it would really kind of cool to put that on there. So you want to make sure it's nice and sealed. Okay? Then once you have it sealed, then you're going to fill it. And when I say fill, I just mean a small amount, about a half a cup at most, even with one this size. If you put too much in here, you won't get any sound because it'll be too heavy. So you can add things, these are like paper chips, and because they're cut in little pieces, they make a little soft sound when they hit those nails. Now it's a percussion sound. Uh, you can add kitty litter, you could add dog food because you want to have a combination of hard and soft sounds. I even have some old broken beads that came from a necklace, broken necklace, uh, leftovers from the Mardi Gras. You can cut them into smaller pieces because these are, this is costume jewelry so it's really not repairable but you don't want to throw it away but they make great sounds when you're hitting up against those nails that are inside. Once you get everything that you want inside, and again, it's only about to this height. You don't want to go any further than uh, about an inch, inch and a half. And speaking of inch and a half, I didn't tell you the nails that you want to use. Make sure that they fit the size of the tube that you're using. I use this stick with the one, one and a half inch size nail. These are bright, what they call bright nails. But make sure they have a head on them because some of the bright nails that are finishing nails they're the same size, but they do not have heads on them. So that when you nail these in here, it goes all the way through. So make sure it has a nice big head on top. Okay? Now, once you have went ahead and put your nails in, then you seal it. Then, of course, you seal the other end because obviously, if you shake it, all your stuff is going to come out. So make sure that you seal both ends. Now, I have some uh, designs on a few. 
that I have done previously. We'll start with the big one, okay? This is a mailing tube, and this is wallpaper. Uh, I have lots of scrap wallpaper. You can also use uh, wrapping paper, whether it's Christmas or birthday, you have a little piece that's left over, or you just like the design. These can also be used to glue on top of the nails. And it makes a beautiful pattern. You don't even have to think about the design. These were some strange little peel-offs that someone gave me and I stuck them on there. So anything you want to put to decorate yours, you don't have to know how to draw in order to make that happen. Now should you want to experiment a little bit with drawing, I also have a ring set I made. This one of course had the caps on it. Uh, this is extra paper that I had left over from another project. Again, you can use tissue paper. This was all done with crayons and markers. So you can get as bizarre as you want or realistic as you want. It all depends on what you want to do. And you'll notice on here I've also put some 3D pieces. This is some sliced wood from my art studio that you can glue on and give it a little more texture. But whatever you decide, have fun with it. The hardest part is deciding what not to use. And of course, for an artist, that's a definite plus. So until next time, have fun with your ring stick. Bye.